Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And today we are going to ask this question. What about distro hopping? Five reasons to stop distro hopping. This is one of these things that's in the Linux community where there's this uh, people that run Linux sometimes have this this urge to just constantly be distro hopping and bouncing all over the place and trying out this distro and trying out that distro and and I think some of it is fueled by channels like mine who don't do reviews and you got you know distro tube does reviews and toss does reviews and you know um, pizza does reviews there's all these different uh, all these different channels that are doing reviews and Sometimes we have to realize that we do this because, well, in my case, I do it. I can't speak for everyone else. In my case, I do it because I have the hardware that I specifically built to show you what new review, uh, new distros look like. So if you're coming over to Linux, you can have a better informed choice. And I think that that's kind of the, the heart behind all of us um, doing the videos on looking at the reviews. But it produces this idea that if you're not constantly distro hopping, you may be missing out on something. And the fact is that we don't want to get into this point where we're constantly distro hopping. And so I've identified five reasons. Now, if you guys want me to, I'll do another one in the future, five reasons to distro hop, because there's valid reasons. But I thought that this one was a far more important video to do. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into five reasons to stop distro hopping. Number one, and this is the weakest reason, you have active projects in process. So if I'm working on something on the computer that I, that I hop on real hardware every now and again, I will not hop that computer if I'm in the middle of a project that's on that. So you know, I had to build a um, an application form for somebody with active PDF fields. And so I was using that computer to do it because, hey, it was there and available. But we're halfway through the project. I'm not going to clear the system out. Now, that's the weakest reason because if I just take the home folder, move it, and drop that on whatever Linux distro I roll to, I should be able to continue the process. But I don't want to take the chance with a different version of LibreOffice or or anything else in the middle. So because there's active projects working on that, um, if it's a if it's an active project that I have to continue on a certain direction, then um, I'm going to go ahead and and keep it keep it on that system over there right for now. And uh, in that respect, if you are in the middle of something, do not distro hop. You are going to get more problems than you have bargained for because if everything is working fine, just don't change it. Finish the project, back up all your files, and then consider using a different Linux distribution. Number two, and this is the big one, you're not a computer hobbyist. If you're not a computer hobbyist, stop distro hopping, find something that works and stick with it. The purpose of my channel is not to show you all of the geeky Linuxy stuff. That's why a distro tube or a, a Chris Titus tech is better at this because he know those, those gentlemen know so much more about what's behind the scenes in the Linux world than I do. What I teach you how to do is how to get real work done with a Linux system and free and open source software. That's the purpose of my channel, to show you what you can do. So if you're not a computer hobbyist, you have no reason to keep jumping back and forth. Find something that works for the things you need to do or for your hobbies and stop changing your system around. Just keep sticking around with what you need. Now, if you're a computer hobbyist, that's we need you guys to get in there and constantly changing things and fixing things, reporting you know bug reports and things like that because that's what makes the system better. So there's definitely people that want to be distro hopping and we want them distro hopping. But in my channel's focus, I want you to get real work done, and that means that we have to have a consistently working system, not something that we have to spend an hour fixing before we can actually get to real work. So if you're not a computer hobbyist, stop distro hopping. If you're wanting to use Linux to learn how to do your hobby, whether that's writing or, or programming or um, anything else that you need a computer to do, uh, maybe you need to run a business, stop distro hopping, just get a system that works and stick with it. 
And then you will always make sure that you are productive in the things that you need to be productive in. Number three, you know how to manage your system. Now, this could be something more broad like Debian versus Arch versus OpenSUSE versus Fedora. Uh, those will have different ways of managing software in the background. Of course, if you know how to use apt and you like using apt in the terminal, anything in the Debian family is going to be fine. You could jump from, from an Ubuntu to a Mint to you know anything else in that general uh, general family without really any issues. Uh, but if you already know how to manage your system, maybe you're you're used to the GUI and you're using the software centers. If you already know how to manage your system and you don't have any conflicts in how the system's managed, stop jumping around. Now, one that is one of the reasons I do change this other computer that's considered more of a non-critical computer for this office. I do change that one around a lot just so I'm always learning things. So if I have to jump to a Fedora, I have to jump to an OpenSUSE, I still know how to manage it and I have experience managing it, but I definitely keep all my production systems on the same operating system. I don't distro hop on my production systems at all. I know how to manage it. I know what the systems can do and I don't want to interfere with any of that stuff by throwing anything else into the mix. So if you know how to manage your system and you're happy with how your system is managed, don't distro hop. You might end up shooting yourself in the foot because you have to stop and take time to figure out how to do something that you knew how to do on your old system. Number four, your software needs are met. Now, this could be the software that runs on your system. It could be how it runs on your system, or it could be a specific version of your software. So to give you a couple examples of that, I'm still on Linux Mint 18.3, and I'm going to stay on Linux Mint 18.3 for quite a long time. Uh, some of the software, like GIMP, I need an older version of GIMP. Some of the things that I do don't work as well on the newer versions, and so I don't want to have to. Uh, I don't want to have to go back and and refigure out a different structure right now in the middle of things because right now the way that 2.8 works is exactly what I need, but 2.10 breaks one of the packages I need to be functioning, and so uh, in that respect. I don't necessarily want to have that package changed. But things like Audacity and Kden Live, the native versions on Linux Mint 18.3 are too old and are not sufficient for what I need. With those, I've added the PPAs, and so I have built into my Linux Mint system all of the software and software versions I need to get my work done. And so my software needs are met, and that is an important point about this is that with your software needs being met, you don't want to interfere. You might have a package that's a different version. You might run into a system where a package just doesn't work on the version you're moving to. If your software needs are met, don't change anything because everything is working just fine. And number five is closely related to number four, and that's that your system is working. Now, there is a difference kind of between the software and the systems. Hopefully, you recognize that. But if, if you don't, things like does your operating system play nicely with your processor? Uh, does your, your um, graphics card actually work? Do, does your printers work? All these types of things. That Basically, this is how does your hardware interface with the operating system. There's times and places, like if I were running any newer of a Ryzen processor, I would need a higher kernel. Uh, in fact, this one, if I updated the kernel to a higher kernel, it might actually work a little bit better, but I haven't really noticed any issues that caused me to want to stop, uh, you know, stop and, and slow down on that. So I just kind of keep it. Now, if you are running more recent hardware, uh, something with a, a newer kernel, like an, an Arch-based system is definitely going to be a little bit better for you. Of course, the newer Ubuntu's also have some of the latest uh, kernel versions as well. If you have older hardware, Debian's going to work perfectly fine for you. So one of the problems is, and this is something that, that a lot of people sometimes ask, ooh, should I go over to Ubuntu or not? Well, if your system is working right now, don't go over to Ubuntu. Or if you're already on Ubuntu, don't leave Ubuntu. If your system is working, just 
be happy with that. There's no reason to just say, oh, I'm just gonna wipe everything out and install another system because you're tra trading a known for an unknown. Now, if your system has some hardware component that's not working right, absolutely hunt around for a Linux distro that supports everything that you need on your hardware and then go back and make sure all the software works and then make that your home distro. But we need to get out of the habit of distro hopping just because a new distro comes out. If you have a stable system that works, don't change your system. Don't change your system. Those of us that do a lot of distro hopping and things, uh, in my case, I have this system is built up for virtually testing them. I specifically built this computer this way to do that. And I have another computer here that my other computer that is real hardware that, that distro hops about every month or so, that there has a fallback that if whatever I'm working with doesn't work right, I pull the drive and I can boot off of the internal drive, which is a different Linux that always works without a problem. And so uh, even in my case where I do have real hardware that gets distro hopped about once a month so I can learn new things at the same token, it is that is the least important computer for this office. It is absolutely by far the least important computer for the office. The other ones are my main production systems and they never change. So we need to get out of this habit of distro hopping left, right, and center. It's not necessarily important. So with that being said, thanks for coming along on this video. I hope that you have learned a lot. And if you'd like to help support the channel, have a look at the links above me or in the description down below. Follow along on the social media accounts if you are interested in seeing what we are doing on a you know regular basis. More updates basically is, is what you get over there. So thanks for coming along. I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.